hello and welcome to my first unboxing video on this channel. Um, so this one we're actually going back almost 15 years to October 27, 2005 and we're going to unbox the City of Villains Collectors DVD Edition. So um, I've actually been playing City of Villains recently with my guild, so um, or with my old guild from 15 years ago. Um, so yeah, I picked this bad boy up on eBay for less than 5 bucks. So, uh, pretty cool. Um, you can see it's still sealed. Still sealed. I mean, the box has taken a bit of a bash. Um, but, five bucks. Um, so, I mean, you can't really complain, right? Um, I guess this was probably like 60, maybe 65 at the time. Um, yeah, and, uh, okay, so without further ado, I got my trusty knife. See if we can get into it. Without damaging it, that would be for the win. There we go. Okay, City of Valence Collector Station. Cool, alright. So it starts off with a pretty cool art book. Uh, I guess it's reversible. City of Villains, which obviously Villains is better. A lot of people preferred Heroes, but let's be real, being bad is good. And then City Heroes on the back. Um, so, oh, this is pretty cool actually. It's a very comic book style. And then we've got Lord Recruits and like an inside page for him. Um, oh, and it's the various concept art. We actually used to use this one here on our website. Uh, There's like the front page of the Knights of Darkness. Ghost Widow, Black Scorpion, so all the different key villains within the game that, that you do the patron powers for. Captain Mako, Sirocco, who's like the stalker, um, Wolf Spiders, obviously if you played the game you'd have been sick of killing these guys because they were everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, quite a nice little book, just, just all concept art. Some of the robotic costumes, I mean if you've played this game, the concept, the costume creator is awesome. It's probably still one of the best costume creators in all the games. And then I guess when you get to halfway we flip to some of the, the craze and the other ones that you would actually fight in City Heroes. So, do you know what, that alone is worth the five bucks to me. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, really, really some pretty art in here. Really awesome. Okay, moving on. I have a... Uh, <laughs> Game time card. Well, that's going to be really useless. But uh, do you know what? In some ways, it, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> if you see, it's it's got the you could scratch the code off. So 15 years ago, this would have been useful. Um, great. Um, I guess that at some point there was a City Heroes card game. They completely passed me. I never saw it. Uh, all the games back in the day used to have these, right? Like, they used to advertise all their other games. I mean, like, board game manufacturers still do this. So, I mean, this is for the trash, really. But, uh, we'll just put it there for the moment. This is kind of what I was hoping would be cool. So, we got a poster. Uh, and it's a double-sided poster. Um, so, hopefully, I mean, it looks in pretty good nick. Um, maybe I can get a frame and maybe you can f we can flatten it out. Uh, I would like to, because it... it it is pretty cool, and um, as I say, the game is back now with emulated servers, so you can play again. So yeah, on one side you've got like the the main battle between the city and the heroes, and on the other side you have the rogue isles, which were basically the zones that you played in in um, in city villains. So everything from Saint Marshall, Port Oaks, Nerva, Capo Diablo, Mercy Island. Bloody Bay, Warburg, Warburg for your nukes, if you played back in the game, you knew all about nukes, you had to get nukes, very important. Um, get the game manual, do you know what, I miss getting game manuals actually, uh, you never get game manuals anymore, I mean it's kind of funny to me in that like, they put the movement keys, uh, like W for forward, like duh, but um, at the same time there was something like, as a kid, as a kid, when you got a game like this, you weren't sure you were always able to play it, right? Like, because there's only one PC in the house, and you're only allowed so long on the PC, etc, etc. So, like, the game manual was what you got to do when you weren't, like, you wanted to play the game, but you weren't allowed. So, 
I used to uh, I used to love getting manuals actually. Um, I know everything's going digital now, but I way prefer this. So it has um, some information about the various classes: brute stalker, mastermind, dominator, corruptor. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that corruptors are the shit. So you want to make corruptors. Uh, if you play this game now, make a corruptor. Look me up. Um, and it's got some more uh, cool things. <laughs> There's even a tutorial walkthrough, like <laughs> like the tutorial is so simple, but um, it's gonna walk you through it. Like uh, games, they don't make games like this anymore. Um, okay, and then moving on. Oh, this is quite a thin case actually. I have the I have the thicker case actually. Um, just but here's a, a thin version of the game, I guess, and. Um, I was going to say it's on a DVD ROM. Okay, so, and uh, I get to play City Heroes for 14 days if I wanted. Yeah! Um, and do you know what? It's quite a cool, it's quite a cool looking CD actually in there with the spider, the Arachnus spider. And uh, yeah, the back of the box shows off the, the various um, colour picker and palette, f and then it shows off you being able to make your base. Um, so yeah, all in the system specs, you'll get a laugh out of this. So the system specs we need for this is a Pentium with 2 gigahertz, 1 gigabyte of RAM, um, you need 4 gigabytes of hard drive space, and you need a G4 6200. I do not know what 6200 looks like now, but I'm guessing it was like a G4 is probably with less than um, 100 megs of RAM. I'll put that somewhere on screen. <laughs> uh, I'll correct it and tell you how much RAM a G4 6200 had, but uh, <laughs> it won't be much. Um, so yeah, this is this is a great game. If you ever get the chance to play this game, I really enjoy it. Um, and then I think the main thing within the box now is that um, I could be wrong here, but I think the main thing now is that there's models. So models for each of the key. Um, some of the, I don't say each of the key, some of the key uh, heroes and villains within within the lore and within the game, there's some models for them. So uh, some of these I'll probably take out and place them on my desk because I need to get my desk looking a bit cooler. But um, we've got Sirocco. We have Ghost Widow and she looks like she stands on a podium. Um, we have Statesman who also gets a podium. Do you know what? These are these are very cool. Uh, I'm going to take them out and have a bit of a closer look at them. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel a little bit sorry for the guy that sold it for five bucks, right? But um, I mean, maybe he was maybe he was that angry that the game was um, discontinued or whatever. But yeah, I mean, you can play this game now via emulated servers, and uh, it's really fun. So you should totally check it out. Um, Let's see if I can ever get into the Statesman one. So I'm a bit of a, a model collector myself. I collect various Star Wars models and I also collect um, some Warhammer models. So uh, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, like, see, so he's going to stick on like. I don't want to break him. Alright, ah, okay. It looks like they're actually part of a game. I don't really know, but the base looks like it's got like indicators on it. But yeah, I mean, they're kind of little little badass. Yeah, it's super cool. So you get Statesman. Let's have a look at the next one. Hugo clicks, I think is what it said. The model here. I'm excited about the poster though. So I'm going to buy a frame for that and get that up because uh, I guess you can see from my Star Wars wallpaper and uh, off camera I have a lot of um, Blizzard Entertainment things so uh, I am, these are extremely difficult to get into. I should have picked a better knife but oh there we go.
Doctor's Ghost Widow. And so Soroku is just going to stand within his... He doesn't need to be attached, so this one will be a bit quicker. There's Sirocco. Who else we got? So I imagine we're going to get Black Scorpion somewhere. Yep, here we go, Black Scorpion. So there's five key villains within the, within the intro cutscene to this game. So Black Scorpion, obviously his scorpion tail is attached. Or... Ah, his scorpion tail is broken. Oh well, I have super glue, like I said. So, um, we'll super glue him later. Gorilla glue is what I would recommend. It's like it's will stick anything, and the, it's like comes out as a gel. So that'll actually be very easy to fix. It'll take like thirty seconds. Uh, I'm not upset about that. If it if it doesn't look good when I glue it on, you know what? I've probably got a brown paint like that. Like I said, I do a lot of little models, so I'll probably be able to match it fairly easily. Um, probably get Manticore, so one of the champion heroes. Um, he was archery. I think he might be a blaster. I don't know. I never, as I say, I never played heroes. I killed Manticore plenty of times in a close strike force, but we, I never, never ran any quests for him or never met him. It was much more a villain for myself. Um, I think this is a hero from. from Recluse Strike Force as well. I think this is Positron, but um, yeah, my brain is failing me in that it's been 15 years since I did Recluse Strike Force. Um, I think it's Positron. If it's not, tell me in the comments below and I'll, I'll, I'll update the, I'll put a card on the video. And finally, I've saved the best for last, obviously. It's Lord Recluse himself, and he Everybody knew who Lord Recruits was. It looks like he's not broken, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, I could totally use these in another miniatures game, just as like random baddies or something. He's kind of badass. Look at his, his claws and his tentacles. So yeah, um, two ball lists we're going to carry here. And yeah, so it's just it's just more just padding to finish off the box. So um, if we flip over, we had um, the collector's edition in-game items. Oh, apparently you would have been able to get this this on your cloak on your cloak, sorry, or probably on your lapel or on your chest. You could put this symbol all over the Ratna symbol. So you would have got that. You got the art book with both sides. You got the seven different hero clicks. Um, you got the two-sided poster. I will definitely. I actually have the DVD collector's edition. I have gave me the other poster. So hopefully, maybe I will. I will. I will put this one on that, and maybe I'll use the other one as the map because the smaller DVD box didn't didn't preserve it very well. And then I got my first month of game time, which is completely useless now, obviously, because the game shut down. But um, as I say, you can play it on private servers, and um, yeah, five bucks for a 15 year old collector's edition. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of interesting. And do um, you know what, I'm kind of chuffed with it. Like, I'm, I'm, I think it was well worth five bucks and I will thank the guy. I actually already left a review on eBay saying thank you very much. So, and we'll, we'll glue this guy uh, a bit later. So yeah, thank you for uh, checking out the video. Um, if you like it, give me a subscribe, please. And um, yeah. Alright, peace out. Hope you enjoyed this.